Okay, now that we've created a static look, I'm going to talk about how to create a moving look. And we're going to start with our MFX and RGBFX options. So again, I want to hit clear all to make sure I have a good starting point. I'm going to select all the baby colors and then I'm going to initialize them. Next, I'm going to go ahead and hit the RGBFX tab on the tablet on the palette tab. And this allows me to, to click any of these RGB effects options. So basically there are combinations of colors that allow you to just select and then it will chase through the fixture. Now keep in mind each of these will be saved with different offsets and we'll, in um, the advanced training, we'll talk about how to manipulate those, how to create your own RGB effects and, and, and change the offsets. But to start, um, this is just a quick way. You'll notice that this generated a 20-step chase and currently our fade time is 0.27. So I can actually slow down my fade time, which slows the transition of each fade, or I can speed it up. Um, in addition, I can uncheck my fade scenes and then the colors will snap instead of fade. So I'm going to go ahead and leave my fade back on. So we've created our first moving look and again this is similar to the static look except this has 20 steps and it's it was generated by this RGB effect. So we're going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to go ahead and enable sequence preview. It shows me what um, RGB effects I pressed. We're going to enable crossfade uh, one second in, one second out. We're going to select default to save all channels and we'll call this uh, Chase 2. Okay, so the new button shows up on the right hand side. Again, I can just click on the screen and there is my new button. If I release it, it fades out. If I press it, you'll see the Chase activate. So Working with moving lights, we have a different type of generated effect, which is a MFX. So I'm again going to hit clear all, make sure that all my memory is clear. I am going to select my spot bots, initialize them. I'm actually going to position them in the center of where I want my movement to occur. So I'm going to position them to the back wall there. And then I'm going to go to my MFX and we're going to go ahead and select this small circle. So what those movements are doing now is um, Enlighten created a 20 step chase to produce a circle on the fixture. Now you'll notice there's this little tiny zero here with up and down arrows. Every time I press that you'll notice the offset changing for those fixtures. So the circle that the circle movement that it's actually um, generating can be offset, and that looks that creates m for much more interesting looks. And um, again, you can create your own um, MFX, but there's plenty here to to go by. So you can do all kinds of different um, MFX, and you can change the offset of each one to get the desired look that you want. Um, in combination. Uh, so let's say I'm happy with this movement, but I also want to add in my baby colors. I can select the baby colors, initialize them, and I can either set them to a static color, or I can, in addition, um, add an RGB effects there. Again, as long as it's the same amount of steps, then you can combine um, MFX and RGB effects to create a, a complete scene. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. You'll notice that it shows me um, the gobo that I'm using. It shows me the MFX and the RGB effects. I'm going to go ahead and select crossfade and I'm going to call this chase three and we'll save it. Again, the new button shows up on the bottom right hand of the screen. I click it into position and there you go. So there's my chase one just with my baby colors and then chase three adds my spot bots. And um, that's how you create a moving look. We'll talk about creating a sequence of steps next. And that's going to go into some advanced topics. And then we'll also talk about some customized movement shapes and, and other things. So again, this was creating a moving 
um, sequence with Enlighten.